Are you confused between the difference of your Google ad account, your Google analytics and Google tag manager? Well, you're not alone. So in this video, I'm going to explain the difference between each of those three accounts, what each of those accounts does and why or if you need all three of those different accounts. So let's go do this right now. Okay, so let's talk about the difference between those three platforms. And really, this is best explained with an example. So let's take my business as an example. I have a website called teachtraffic.com, which you can see here. It's an online business where I teach people through online videos how to run Google ads, Facebook ads, and really any kind of paid traffic. So since it's an online business, I install the software of Google Analytics onto my website so it can tell me information about my website visitors. It will tell me firstly how people found my site. For example, did they come from a Facebook post? Was it direct traffic, referral traffic, organic SEO, etc.? Any traffic source, it will tell me how they found my site, but not just that. It will also tell me once they come, what did they do next? What pages did they view? How long did they spend on the site? The scroll depth if I want to. And I can also set up tracking such that I can, you know, set up what's called events to see if they're doing what I want them to do, which is to buy my courses or whatever. And then I can track it back to see which traffic source led to those purchases. So Google Analytics is a really, really powerful tool, which is, I'd say, most likely installed on 90% of all websites out there. Maybe not that high. And it's a wealth of information about your online business. Okay, let's talk about Google Ads. Google Ads is an advertising platform that is a way of getting people to your website. But once they come, Google Ads won't tell you what they've done. That's where Google Analytics really steps in. So Google Ads is a way of buying traffic, hopefully the right kind of traffic, who is your target audience, to come to your website. So in the case of my business, where I teach people how to, as I said, let's say to uh, run Google Ads, my advertising strategy on Google Ads might be to appear for when uh, people do a Google search of Google Ads course, how to run a Google campaign. Those are exactly my target audience because that's exactly what I teach. So I bid on those keywords as one type of strategy to get the right kind of people to my website. Google Ads is actually a bit of a beast of an ad platform. I have a whole bunch of videos about Google Ads, which you can check out. But that is essentially, it's just an advertising platform, much like Facebook ads, much like LinkedIn ads, etc. It's just a way of getting online traffic to your site. Next, let's talk about Google Tag Manager. And this is the source of a lot of confusion for people. Google Tag Manager is another Google product that's really just a home for all your tracking codes. With an online business, the beauty of it is that you can track basically everything. So to install tracking codes, you either have two options. One is to do it in the back end of your website. So where you log in, if you've got a WordPress site, log into the back end and hard code it through the HTML code. Or you can do it, use a tool like Google Tag Manager, which is a way of uh, uploading code to the back end of your site without having to log into the back end of your site. So what you do is you create your Google Tag Manager account. Google Tag Manager will give you tracking codes to put the, on the back end of your site. But once you've done that once, you no longer have to log into the back end of your website. You only use your Tag Manager account and upload your codes there and you can publish codes to your site via Tag Manager. So think of it like a home for all your tracking codes and um, that's a, the way to get the codes up there. It was really invented, I believe, for agencies. Okay, so agencies who have a number of different client accounts and therefore need to install tracking code on a number of different websites. So without them giving, uh, needing access to all those different websites, they just get access to the Tag Manager account and can then upload codes via Tag Manager to all their different client websites. So I am a big fan of Google Tag Manager. You can actually do a whole bunch of really funky and interesting stuff, uh, which in, and it talks very nicely with Google Ads, but really it's, um, it's a way of just yeah, 
as I said, doing, getting codes to your site. For most businesses, they're going to at least have Google Analytics installed on their site. Hopefully businesses are also running Google ads because it's a really effective way to get traffic and Tag Manager is also optional. So there you have it. I hope you found this video helpful explaining those differences between analytics, Google ads, and Google Tag Manager. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up icon, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.